out to Anto Cleary. Anto trying to get into the middle to John Morgan. He does Morgan winning it, trying to float it out again to get Massey Hawken moving, but a little bit too strong, and it's gone into touch, throw ball to Johnville. Again, John Murphy to take the throw. John getting a lot of work through on the far side of the field. Vaughn McCarthy running him on through here, race back with his Eddie Buck, or Buddy Buck, I should say. Buddy getting into touch with, putting into touch, and it's not a throw to Johnville. Johnville putting in a lot of pressure on the Middleton backs at the moment, but really nothing very, very constructive coming from it. Derek Dohany coming up to take the throw. Out by Buck again. Dohany to take the throw again. Trying to get around for Welsh. Again, it's Buddy Buck putting it out. And they're just gaining a couple of yards each time. But if they keep going this way, they'll eventually wind up over the in-line. Again, Derek Dohany to take it. A short one across in for Patrick Hennessy. He gets a boat to it. A dangerous one comes here. Oh, and Brown just couldn't get a late touch to it. And eventually it breaks out to Buck. And Buck clearing it away out of defence. Coming down into attack now at Middleton. And Sullivan getting it out. Again, it's Buck. Throwing a nice one over for John Ford. Can he get through with this? But back getting the boot to it is Eamon Sheehan. And John Murphy, a very nice bit of skill indeed. Camley gets it out of defence. Chance there for John Ford, but he just couldn't get to it. Eno Bryan's shot is also blocked down. Mac Brown. Coming away with it now for Johnville. With Murphy, John Murphy trying to get it. Now it's Barry Lamb. Barry, Barry, Barry Lamb trying to move it in, but Alan Sullivan inside in his own has time to tap it up and clear it away out to the far side. Brown on to Daly. Daly now trying to get the team moving. Sending it on here for Patrick Hennessy. Gets a touch to it. It's running out, but the whistle has gone. Flag on the far side has gone up and it's offside. But a little flick there that could have been, but he was well in, well offside. As the linesman there flagged and it's a free out to Middleton and I make it very very close indeed to half time just maybe a little bit of injury time to be added on Don Desmond to Norosh who wants to give away a goal just before half time there it goes the referee has blown the whistle the call the end to this first half a very entertaining first half indeed as I said very blustery windy conditions here in Cove Ramblers ground in Cove, we're up very, very high, but both teams are trying to walk the ball, play the ball, and get into attack, and we've had a lot of attacking, a lot of good moves in the game, a few good saves by Chuck O'Connor, the goalkeeper by, for Johnville, and Donald Desmond really hasn't as many shots to save, but what he's got, he's brought off confidently, and shown that he's a very, very good, capable goalkeeper indeed. As I said, very, very enjoyable first half, I'm sure, for the large crowd who have come here to see it. Hoping to see, well, a lot of them from Middleton, hope to see go back to Middleton, and of course, the Waterford people hope to see it head back down that way. The Middleton Holy Rosary Brass and Reed Band are coming out to play and entertain the people at half time under the conductor, John Curtin. Well, perhaps with most of the constructive football being played by Middleton in that first half, but they're getting no score. John Phil, using a lot of spirit, we'll be back with you for an entertaining second half. for the second half with referee Mr. John O'Gorman coming out. Teams are ready. The band's still playing away. The Milton Holy Rose, the Brass and Reed band, as I said, under the baton of John Cotton. Entertaining the people at halftime. Well, just before the end of the first uh, at the end of the first half, I said that Middleton showing more constructive football, but Johnville putting a lot of spirit and a lot of effort into their game, making this a very, very entertaining game indeed. Band playing on. And very soon, I'm sure, the referee will get this second half on the way. And, well, will we have extra time? Or will one of the teams, will somebody score and decide who are going to be the holders of the Barry Cup? Will this man over here, John Buck, be the, the captain? Will he hold on to it? Or will it go to Waterford? Massey Hargan, who made some very good runs and good play in the first half. And... In the first half, it's very hard to pick any player out who stood out throughout the whole half. A lot of players, Barry Lamb here came into it and passed, made some very good darting runs. 
John Morgan came into it. Um, the back in general was very sound. Leonard O'Driscoll in the first quarter or 20 minutes really put everything into it and during the passing, but he didn't get much to do for a while. So as I said, overall, it was just team effort by both. Ed, Eddie Welch for Johnville probably was the best uh, of them in the first half, with Richard Daly doing some great work as well. So let's hope we have a very entertaining second half. Remember, in this half, Middleton playing from left to right. Ball over with John Morgan. John Morgan trying to run up the far wing. Trying to make space, make room for himself. Watch him as Adam O'Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan kept his eye on him all the way. The centre back and putting it out. And it's the first line touch and the first throw ball to Middleton. John Buck to throw, take the throw. A long one, dropping on the edge of the penalty area. Comes to John Ford, but it's taken off of him by Eamon Sheehan, and it was eventually cleared out. Again, Leonard O'Driscoll trying to float one through in the middle here for Massey. Hargett, but back and watching is John Murphy. John Murphy keeping his eye on and putting it out into touch. Throw ball, Middleton. Mickey Regan, Massey Hargan. Hargan just can't get control, and John Murphy puts into touch again, and it's another throw to Middleton. And of course, Massey Hargan himself was the captain of this team last year when they won three different trophies. Well, can he get another one here this year? A new type, the Barry Cup trophy. Can he be part of this team? Massey with the free. Again, the referee getting the crowd away from behind the goals. Dropped in, cleared out inside. Coming on to be very strong is John Morgan. John Morgan, oh, Morgan trying to break down in the right wing here, trying to get away from O'Sullivan, but back and very, very good indeed by Anna O'Sullivan. Took the ball and put it into touch and throw ball, but a good, strong run again by John Morgan, who did a lot of these in the first half and is starting well again in the second half. John Morgan comes from Castle Marta. Back to Massey Horrigan from Barry Lamb. Very close to the line, but kept him playing. Barry Lamb now giving a little touch on to John Morgan. 1 2. But John Barry just didn't get to it and it went out. And it's uh, over the line and it's goal kick to John Bill. John Morgan starts uh, as an under 14 player with Middleton. And he also can score some goals because John got three goals so far in this cup competition. And he was also a member of the Kennedy Cup team with his goalkeeper Dolan Desmond. So John shows plenty of promise indeed for the future. Free this time to Johnville. Coming up to take it is the central defender, Eamon Sheehan. Not a very big tall lad on this pitch this afternoon. Getting a good long run, hoping to drop a well in. Floating it for the far post. Get up, head it down, but gone out. Richard Daly got his head to it, but just still not enough power. Went out to the right. Dolan Desmond controlling it very, very easily. Sends it back into attack again. Comes to Paul McCarthy. McCarthy robbed by Buck. Cleared out by Donahue. Donahue. Coming on here, but Don Desmond wins the race, gets away there for Patrick Hennessy. So very, very close to the edge of the penalty area, but got a fist to him, got out. Back here on McCarthy, Jonathan comes off the referee. John Morgan trying to win it. Back by Richard Daly, trying to throw to the far side. Back there is the captain, Buck. Buck getting it and taking it away from where it's bringing it out to the far side of the field. No, and we know Driscoll, Driscoll now trying to make her post be up the far side of the field. A very fast, strong, aggressive player is just left back. But this time it's taken off by Richard Daly and Dohany, Dohany coming over it and trying to get it back in. A bit touch from Jason McSweeney, runs all the way back. The whistle is gone for offside. And here it comes again. Ball floated high in, drowned. This is the one from a while ago. And coming out, racing out there to it, was Don Desmond. And when the ball landed outside the penalty area, very, very quickly, Don cleared it away out. Jason McSweeney to take the free from that offside. And I make four and a half minutes gone in the second half. Barry Lamb gets it just not onto it. Cleared out by Murphy. Out here, Anto Cleary trying to get to it, but can't do so. And it's throw ball. He's taken himself. Headed on by Massey Hogan. 
Danny Lamb racing forward, but coming out very, very strong and clearing it out. Adam Sullivan. Max Weenie. Daly getting it on in for John Phil. And they had run over the pass and a chance here and another race on, but Don Desmond had plenty of time, really. Patrick Hennessy, no competition, and Don Desmond winning it and looking, calling his players and fixing up the team before he kicks the ball out. Now it's John Morgan again, trying to send Mossy Horgan free. Back there watching it is John Murphy, but he doesn't clear it. Yes, it does eventually make the line and it's throw. But Massey Horgan himself to take the throw from touch. A good long one dropping into the area, kicked out by Eamon Sheehan. Sheehan kicking it way out onto the road again, you can see. And it's another throw to Middleton. Massey Horgan's throw in for Barry Lamb. Lamb. Hawking outside him, gets it back to him, floated across, right across to the far side. Oh, and it just couldn't reach Mickey Regan, and it cleared back out now. Richard Daly, Daly draws and misses it. John Morgan with it now. Can he make a breakthrough here? Kicks it, comes back as far as Mickey Regan. Mickey Regan opening out to his captain. Buck floating a high one, front and centre, but a head got to there by Murphy, the left back, and he clearing it out now. Only fast Barry Lamb, racing on to it was Anto Cleary. He puts it out and into touch, throw ball to Johnville. Well, a lot of exciting stuff now at the moment. Middleton trying very, very hard, searching for that score. And John Morgan, as I said, putting a lot of dirty runs. John Morgan and Barry Lamb, Mossy Horgan, not the tallest of players, but really putting a lot of spirit and a lot of guts into this game. Referee blows the whistle for backing in there by Mossy Horgan, or for a foul throw, I should say, and it's a free down to John. Throw is taken and goes out underneath us, and it's another throw here to be taken this time by Massey Horgan. Massey into the middle, Mickey Regan breaking it down. Regan trying to get away from Sheehan, but face was so. Buck now getting the back in, floating it, but going away out to the corner. Massey Horgan racing back, Murphy watching him all the way, shepherding the ball out into touch, and quite happy to take the throw. Comes now to John Morgan. Oh, a lovely little touch by there, John Morgan. Morgan throwing this one in. It comes now, John Ford. Again, the whistle is gone, and it's a free out to Johnville. Remember, Johnville, their credentials were very good indeed to get to this final. They won through Waterford quite easily. In the fifth round, they beat Letter Kennedy up in Letter Kinney, I should say, not Letter Kennedy, Letter Kinney up in, Gal up in Donegal, 1 0. Went at home, then they beat Salt Hill from. Galway 1 0 in the quarter final, but here they're back here now trying to get a score against Middleton. Kicked out here by Anto Cleary, and it's a corner kick to Johnville. And in the semi final, they went travelled away to Dublin where they beat Rangers of Dublin again on the score 1 0. So they had it easy, and I'm sure here playing away isn't frightening them. The corner's taken way out, right out over the whole lot, and it goes out and a goal kick to Middleton. As I said, travelling here to Cove will not indeed worry Johnville as in their last three games, two of them were away, one in Dublin and one in Donegal, and they won both of them. Middleton also very, very competitive and having done very, very well indeed to get to this final. Remember, they beat Wimbley of Limerick by 2-1, Rivermount of Dublin 2-1 in the quarter-final and the semi-final, Belvedere Dublin 2-1. But can they get a score here against this Waterford team? At the moment, they're putting on a lot of pressure, but nothing happening. Massey Horgan, oh, lovely bit skip by Massey. Horgan, oh, Massey Horgan trying to get through to it. He keeps it in, it goes really on the ground. John Ford with it, trying to control it, putting it back in, but booted out again by Eamon Sheehan out to the side of the field. Clearly getting ahead to it. Another touch to it, sending it on in, and Sullivan, or oh, Sullivan, the central defender, getting it out. Jason McSweeney also back out for Middleton from the other side. And his partner, Ian O'Brien, getting it at that time. But the ball isn't clear cleanly. Oh, the fast, I noticed with a little O'Driscoll. Little O'Driscoll trying to get it out. It comes as fast as Mickey O'Regan. Mickey O'Regan floating it across to the middle. Comes to John Morgan. He tries to set Marcy Horrigan away, but again, just that little bit too strong, too far, and too much of a run, too much speed on the ball, and it goes for a throw. John Murphy into it. He's goalkeeper, Chuck O'Connor. Into the middle. John Morgan again, winning a lot of ball at the moment. Massey Horgan wins that one very well. But back out by Derek Donnelly, out of the line and touch, into touch, throw ball to Middleton. Nine and a half, just over nine and a half minutes gone in this second half. Well, will Middleton get a score? Will Johnville get a score? Or will we go to extra time? They went to extra time last week. 
Will it happen again here today? Derek Dahani fly kicking that one. Barry Lamb racing in very hardness. And eventually it's cleared out by John Murphy. John Murphy clearing the mince mount of ball indeed back here. And he's under a lot of pressure from Massey Hogan. Again, the referee, John Gorman, says that it was a foul throw, and it's another throw, this time to Middleton. Ball with Mark Hazel. Mark Hazel floating it away, back in, playing back into his own defence, putting his own defence under a lot of pressure there, but eventually tidying it up, but it's number five, Eamon Sheehan, and he gives it back to Chuck O'Connor. Patrick Hennessy. Cut out by Anton Cleary. Way out into touch, just right underneath us here. And it's another throw to John Cleary. John Murphy with us. Now again, it's John Morgan. John Morgan really doing tremendous work indeed. Massey Hogan just couldn't get to it and it goes into touch. The linesman said it went off. One of the Johnville defenders. Massey took it to John, Bo John Morgan. Morgan back to Massey. Trying to break away down, trying to make room. Can he get across in? Getting away from Mark Hazel, but Mark Hazel comes back to him. Again, he gets all lucky with a play by Matt Harkin. Trying to get to his buddy Buck. Buck now trying to get away from Eddie Welch. Two of those have really been on each other right through the game. He gets a little touch to it, but it goes out over the line, and it's a goal kick. But again, great bit of skill here by this player, Massey Harkin. Really nice touching. I thought he was being beaten by Mark Hazel, but he wasn't. He still got his cross in, but it goes out over the line, and it's gone wide. Well, Massey Hawken causing tremendous difficulties at the moment for Johnville defence, as is John Morgan at midfield. Comes this time to Mickey Regan. Regan trying to get out to his skipper. He gets ahead to it. Back off to Barry Lamb and Mark Hazel. Ball drops between them. Barry Lamb fighting very hard and won that one very Oh, lovely little player. But it's cut off here by Ma uh, Derek Donahue. Back Sheehan getting it out. Out to Lamb again. Lamb trying to get through with it now. Trying to get away from Welch. Lamb trying to get through. The referee blows the whistle as he was pushed and fouled. And it's a free in to Middleton. Barry Lamb, as I said, also got a goal in this. Barry Cup. And he's eligible as well to play on the 16 again next year. And he also on the Kennedy Cup, Kennedy Cup team last year and had the runners up medal from there. But can the captain Buddy Buck here? Can he manufacture something from this one? It's a nice one. Up go the heads for it. Pass over. Coming out to Jason McSweeney. Jason, central defender up, trying to get his high tune. Oh, lovely bit of skill by him. He gets it to cross in, but it has gone out. And it's out of the line and goal kick. But a very nice touch of skill that time by Jason McSweeney, the central defender. Up in the forward line and trying to create chances. A good kick out. Coming way back. Again, Leonard Rodriguez, but this time Patrick Hennessy breaks it down. But Leonard very determined indeed. Even a second time in the first half, you might remember again, Eddie Welsh got away from him and he chased after him till he got the ball back. He did the same there, lost it for a second, but fought and won it back. Now again it comes to Hennessy. Hennessy kicks it over his head. And again, now Driscoll they are watching it and booting it well into touch. And it's... I think it's another throw ball to Johnville. 13 and a half minutes gone in this second half. Remember, 40 minutes in each half. And if at the end of that period they're tight, there'll be extra time. And there will be a second period of extra time. And after that, if they're still tied up, it'll go to penalty kicks. Donald Desmond, see how he kept his eye on that ball as it lobbed right through the air, never took his eye off at once and controlled it and made it look very, very simple indeed. A lovely little header on. Now comes Tomasi Hawken. Dohany breaking it down, winning it very strongly again and getting it, but also running in there very hard as Massey Hawken. He won that one back now to Barry Lamb. Barry Lamb putting it on out for Buddy Buck. Buck trying to break down and trying to get his way through. He's in the area. Can he get his cross in? He can't. It's got out, and I think it's a free. The referee, John Gorman, says that it's a free from just outside the area. Massey Hawken going over with Buddy Buck and Maybe they're trying to plan something here. Eno O'Brien and J.S. McSweeney, two tall men from the fence, have come up and they're on the far side away from the free taker. 
It's the body himself to take it. A short one. Trying to get John Ford under. He heads it down. It comes as fast as McSweeney, but flat inside and eventually scrambled away outside by the goalkeeper, Chuck O'Connor. Barry Lamb decides they're going to try and come back again with it. Headed on a little bit here by Patrick Hennessy, but back and watching and getting it out is Anto. And here comes the three again. Watch it bouncing down. Nobody really claiming it. Eventually, the goalkeeper just gets a fist to it and has cleared the way out the far side by Patrick Hennessy. Again, that must be considered a chance for Middleton. John Murphy here waiting to get the ball to take the throw it. And man who was watching him, marking him, Massey Horgan. Massey, again, doing a lot of attacking, a lot of good, strong running up the right-hand side and creating a lot of problems. But this player also doing a fair amount of work for Johnville. Massey Horgan and John Murphy again trusting. Now it's Barry Lamb. But it's gone into touch off of Eddie Welch, and it's a throw to Middleton. Cleary with the throw. Welch again, or it's Mark Hazel this time. Heading it down into touch and another throw to Middleton. Ball coming into the middle. John Ford just getting a bit touched to it. We're watching it was Welch and Welch clearing it out for it. John Villeneuve comes to John Morgan. Morgan trying to break his leg through. He takes a shot. Oh, a great shot. But also a equally good save by the goalkeeper, Chuck O'Connor. Oh, John, here it comes again. Watch the way he walked his way right through. Right for the shot. A real good pile driver of a shot. The crowd appreciated that one. And it goes out off the goalkeeper, Chuck O'Connor. And it's a corner kick. Well, it's John Morgan really doing a lot of work in midfield. And all the, as I said, right through, it's very hard to pick out any outstanding player. They're, they're really working well as a team. Massey Horrigan, a short one for the near post. John Ford over his head, headed on by Jason McSweeney. McSweeney out over the top, and it's a goal kick. Second time, the first half as well, he did the same thing. And this time he just, just coming down when the ball came to him. Couldn't get above it and nod it down. It goes out over the top, and it's a goal kick. Kick out, headed away by Massey Horgan, and real powerful it was. Back by Murphy. Paul McCarthy getting it away. O'Brien getting it out from Middleton. O'Brien trying to make a break out of the fence. Good, strong player, busting his way through. And since this one, a nice one in for John Ford again. John Ford, the central attacker, centre forward for Middleton, trying to set the ball up, trying to put it out. It comes eventually and headed out here to Massey Horgan. Massey keeps it in play. Back is Mark Brown for Johnville. Mark Brown getting it away. But only as far as Jason McSweeney. Jason's shot doesn't go very far and Alan O'Sullivan sends it back to Johnville. And again, it's just kicking it out at the moment, right up and down. Nobody really clearing it. But maybe a chance here now for John Ford. Can he get away from Welch? Looking back for support now. Coming with him is his captain, Eddie Buck. He sends it into middle instead. It comes as far as Mickey O'Regan, but he just couldn't get to touch to it. The whistle eventually has gone, and it's a free out, I think, to Chanville. And the referee seems to be calling Mickey O'Regan over to have a word with him. I didn't see what went on there, and he must have said something back, because now the referee is going for his book. And very, very silly there. He should have just listened to the few words from the referee taking what was said. The crowd here watching and waiting. Well, they're wondering, will there be a score in this game? Middleton have had the better chances, the better tries to get scores in this game, but haven't picked him off yet. So the bench on the far side, I'm sure, must be wondering, can they put one in? Can they get a score? And Janville hoping to hold on at the moment, not doing too bad, under most pressure, really, and hoping that Middleton will not take a score because then they would be really under pressure. I make it 19 minutes gone, so 21 minutes more to go to the end of this game, and still no score. Derek Dahani. Headed away by Max Sweeney. Out to the far side, Welch getting it now. Comes back to Buck. Buck high up into the air, dropping it into space. Only Massey Harkin wins it, gets it away from Sean Murphy. Moving out now and watching him with Mark Hazel. But the whistle of... The linesman down on leaders here has flagged, and I'm not sure, I don't think it was offside, but maybe he saw that Massey was falling, because it's a free out to Johnville. 
since this team, most of this players started together back in 82, 83, they have won five cup competitions altogether. They've played 38 cup games up to this, and they've only been beaten once. So they really have set very high standards indeed for themselves. All good header by Barry Lamb away there. Massey Hargan race with Mac Hayes or Eamon Sheehan with him, and Eamon getting it left footed out away from, I should say, that time was John Ford. This is Massey Hargan. Massey with the throw, a short one for John Morgan. Morgan, oh, lovely, oh, just a little bit too much weight in it. Almost got Massey Hargan away and went out and throw ball to Johnville. But again, it's Middleton applying all the pressure at the moment. Off of Paul McCarthy, into touch again, another throw. Massey Hargan again with us. Trying to get it into John Ford, comes off with it, number five, Sheehan, and back out again, Massey again. Almost on the in line with the throw this time. I'm sure he'll go for a long one. He does. Sends it in. One side by Buck. By or Regan, I think I should say. And it's gone out of the in line. Goal kick to Johnville. Mickey O'Regan, who's got four goals so far in this Bally Cup for his team. Playing very well. And remember, he got the most important one last week, the one that tied the teams up. And he scored 11 goals so far altogether this season. Max Weenie away, back by Hazel, trying to send it away out to the right wing, but racing out and clearing it with Ian O'Brien. Out now for Buddy Buck. Buck trying to, can he make a run? Can he do, develop something for his team? Remember, he's a skipper. Watch him as Donahue. He almost drops him. He still gets it, sends it on in. Not a very good one. But Sullivan underneath it. Also with him is Mickey O'Regan. O'Regan trying to get it. Turning left foot, it sends across in. It comes in. Matthew Hallican is there. But he just couldn't get it away. He's disappointed with himself. And Chuck O'Connor covered him and really got his body over that one very well indeed. But a nice little touch by Mickey O'Regan to get in. I didn't think he was going to get inside, but he did. And eventually put it in and, well, just hasn't gone in over in behind the barrier. Here it comes again. Ball breaking down. O'Sullivan now with O'Regan. O'Regan turns inside and left foot. It gets a low cross coming. Massey just tries to chip it in. But Chuck O'Connor, the goalkeeper, was there watching it very, very carefully. Got his complete body behind it and saved it. And again, John live. A very long kick out there from the goalkeeper. And it's gone out into touch. And it's a throw ball. Coming to take it is Mark Hazel, the number six. And the crowd enjoying this game indeed. Plenty of shots, plenty of excitement, plenty of action with Mac Brown. Mac Brown, the first half, did a lot of raiding up the left wing, but so far the second half hasn't shown us prominently. Wait takes throw, a short one. Out by Blam, into the crowd again, into touch, and it's Mac Hayes himself to take it this time. Will he go for the long one? The referee says, wait, he sorts a few things out again. And it's Barry Lamb has to tie off his lace. Again, a short one. Trying to get away, Richard Daly. Richard Daly takes a shot and it goes out to the left and it goes wild. Goal kick. Richard Daly again, very pumped in the first half. And I think that's the first time we've seen him in the second half. He really is not getting enough of ball in. The middle to midfield are dominating us. Indeed, with Barry Lamb, John Morgan, and the skipper, John Buck, really dominating in the centre of the field. Therefore, there's not enough supply coming in to Richard Daly. Again, way out to the side of the field, out into touch, and it's a throw ball. John Murphy to take it. As I said, the three midfielders from Middleton are really dominating in the second half. For Matt Brown, back into touch, throw ball to Middleton. Massey Harkin to take it. Whistle is gone. The referee blows it again and says, foul throw. Good one. Comes down to Richard Daly. Hasn't been in the game much, I said, but he's trying now. He's out foraging, trying to win the ball himself to bring it through. But this time he puts it too far away from Matt Brown. He's gone into touch and a throw ball to be taken by Anto Cleary. Massey Hawken, just a little flick on twist. Coming on to now is Mickey O'Regan. Mickey O'Regan said he was obstructed to referee agrees, and it's a free in to Middleton. Oh 
Jason McSweeney rushing up, trying to get up in case something comes at the end of this one. Massey dropping it into the middle, onto the head of John Ford. With just no one there to pick it up, it goes straight out over the inline, and again, it's gone for goal kick. I make it 25 minutes to gone in this game, second half, so only 15 minutes to go in the game, and still no score. John Morgan getting his head, Barry Lamb with him, loses it to Paul McCarthy, but Morgan fights back and wins it again, and floats it right through, but cut out by John Murphy. Now it's Mark Hayes who gets a little flick to it, but watching it all the way was the number two, Leonard O'Driscoll, and now again John Bell trying to come down, trying to walk something, Mark Hayes to McCarthy, McCarthy watching, sends it out as far as he's number two, the right back, Donaghy, and Donaghy sends it on in, now this time for Richard Daly, Daly trying to get more in the game in these last few minutes, maybe he's beginning to wake up, Tussling on the ground. Eventually it comes and cleared out by Ian O'Brien. Out to Mark Hazel. He shot his block down. O'Brien winning it again, sending the way out, out off the line, and into touch, and it's a throw ball. Coming up to take it, right? On, almost on the, the in line is Mark Hazel. A short one again. Mark Brown back to Hazel. Hazel just belts it on with his left boot, out of the in line, and it's a goal kick. Well, this game is looking like it might go into extra time. Jason McSweeney again to take the kick out. Barry Lamb just gets a little touch to it. Back in by McCarthy, headed out again by McSweeney. And O'Driscoll underneath it and kicking it and way, way up into the air. Comes right down underneath us and out underneath the camera position here. So a throw ball to John Murphy for Johnville. Gets on to Brown, taken off him by Cleary. Cleary trying to send his team into attack. Learning very constructive about it. And Lord Sullivan nearly makes hard work of it. Gets it back eventually to the goalkeeper, Chuck O'Connor. And he looks up, sending it away out into it again. But nobody near it. Sends it straight out into touch. And it's another throw. This time taken by Anto Cleary. A lovely header on by Hossie Harkin to Barry Lamb. Harkin again winning it, fighting very, very strongly. That time, John Murphy kicking it, and it seems to have caught Massey just across the top, just top of the face, uh, the ball as it came off of John Murphy's boot. Referee John and Mr. O'Gorman coming over to make sure that Massey Harkin is okay. He's calling on the, tra the manager, Nemo Bright, to have a look to make sure. But the ball just coming off of the boot of the left back there as Massey was trying to come onto it and with determination break his way through. The game in the last five minutes or so has quietened a little bit again. Maybe both teams are just being a bit cautious now, afraid that they'll make a mistake coming up to the end of the game. We have about 12 minutes to go to the end of the game and referee having a word there with his linesman, Noel Gary, to see what happened. But I think he says it was an accident and he's going in just to take up his position for the free kick in the far side. Mickey Regan, Jason McSweeney, up, also John Morgan, they have Barry Lamb in the front. So, Massey Harkin himself to take it. Sends it, aims for Barry Lamb, Barry Lamb picks it up, John Ford chases it down very nicely, but just couldn't get the shot in, and eventually goes out, grabbed by the goalkeeper O'Connor, uh, under pressure from Buck, and he eventually clears it out to the far side of the field. Comes to Massey Harkin again, a little header, on by Jason McSweeney, into space, a race on off it, the goalkeeper racing way out there, trying to get away from Barry Lamb, he wins it, and he sends it on to down the line the far side. Into touch, and it's a throw. Mark Hazel sends this one in, way up, and out. Whistle is gone. And it's the goal kick. Don Desmond to Jason McSweeney, back to Desmond again. Slowing it down, making sure everything is settled and in order, and eventually decides to send the high one up. Andre Lehman Sheehan 
back a little bit. Barry Lamb. Lamb now trying to do something with it. Trying to flick it through. Fighting it very hard. Oh, he went on to that one and fought very hard for it. A nice shimmy there for him. He takes it and shot in. But no power. The goalkeeper again going down. Getting his whole body behind it. Covering it very well. But a very nice little bit of work there by Barry Lamb. Jason McSweeney booting it into the crowd, into touch. And again, we'll just have another quick look at that one. Barry Lamb, watch, you know, watch the lovely little shimmy he gives here. A little double step and then breaks his way through. Just coming up now and he gets a left boot twist, but it just goes in too soft and the goalkeeper got it without any real problem indeed. And eventually he comes out of line, just to be taken by Mark Hazel. Coming across again, Jason McSweeney very quickly off the mark and puts that one into touch as well. Mark Hazel again with another try this. Richard Daly kicking it first time. Head the direction on target, but too easy, too soft. No problem to the goalkeeper, Donald Desmond. He really hasn't had very much to do in this game so far. Of the goalkeepers, Chuck O'Connor, have had the most to do. But still, no goal has passed either of them. Massey Hagen coming back into Brown very hard. Now it's Cleary. Cleary shot, breaking off a Hazel into touch, and it's a throw to Middleton. This is Mickey Regan again. Mickey with Aim and Sheehan there, pushing very, very hard. It's gone in, and it's Wassy Hardigan again with the throw. Short one to Barry Lamb. John Murphy into touch. So far this season, Middleton have played a total of 14 cup games, winning 13 and drawing one. They scored 55 goals and conceded only seven. Massey Harkin, a good long throw, back here by John Ford, coming across, comes now to John Morgan, moving in, oh, nice bit touch by John Morgan, takes a shot, oh, it's gone in, it's a goal, goal by John Morgan. Didn't just seem running, just seemed as if he was making room to get the ball out, he takes this shot, and he put in jubilation, the crowd here at Middle not trailed, John Morgan, with 31 minutes gone, you can see the time there, just over 31 minutes gone, and he put it in, the crowd, you see all the people jumping in the fast side, all the Magpie supporters. Here it comes again, from the corner, comes across, he made great room for himself, moves it now, he just gets around two players here, lovely, and he stabs it toward it, and into the back of the net, and the goalkeeper had no hope of saving whatsoever. Watch it again, tabs the toe, hits it, and just over the goalkeeper in, one goal to nail, middle pin leading, and back with it again, here comes, Mick, Mickey O'Regan this time, Mickey trying to do something, Middleton now one goal up with 32 minutes gone. Well, they're hoping to get another one and really put the pressure on Johnville. Eight minutes to go, less than eight minutes to go. Now, can they get, up and get another one? Remember, when you get one goal, it's always a dangerous period. You can relax, your team can come back and put in a goal and put you under pressure. And here it comes, Richard Daly, the centre forward, trying to get through. Sends a nice one across for Paul McCarthy. McCarthy turns. But back there and walking very hard again with John Morgan to break down his shot. Maybe Paul McCarthy was just a little bit too slow. Gave John Morgan time to come back and block the shot as he was taking it. And now it's Bossy Hogan trying to set away. Mickey Regan trying to float it through. Eamon Sheehan goes off his knees, out of the line and into touch. And this young guy's here. Fiji needs his binoculars to see the game. But well, what a great goal by John Morgan. And really he's been playing so well indeed throughout the game. But particularly in the second half. He made such beautiful room for himself to sink that one in. Massey Hargan into Mickey O'Regan. Regan getting across in, batted out again, into touch, and another throw to Middleton. 33 and a half minutes gone. Six and a half minutes for Middleton to hold out. Well, this game looked like as if it wasn't going to get a goal. Both teams seem to be settled to play safely, but John Morgan, John Morgan is one of the panelists on the Kindy Cup team saying that this is not going to be, he put it into the net. Again, off of John Murphy, and the game has died just a little bit, and I think Massey Harkin and the rest of his teammates quite happy to keep along. It gives him a chance to settle down, get back into the rhythm of the game after the goal, and keep John Ville out. Will Massey go for a long one this time? Referee going off to the far side, a substitute going, coming on. Going off is Patrick Hennessy, the number 11 for Johnville. And coming on is the number 13, Mark Sheehan. So a substitute on for Johnville with just less than five and a half minutes to go to the end of this game. 
Well, John Morgan scored three goals already this season, but that's his fourth one. But I think that one will probably be his happiest one. Back with Massey Hogan. Massey trying to break down, trying to get onto the inline to get across it. Watching very well is John Murphy. John kicking it. And the umpire agrees with him that it went off of Massey Hogan, and it's a throw ball. But Massey really has created a lot of problems down this right wing for Johnville. Oh, off of Mark Hazel. And that's the second time that happened to him, that he went off and directly from a throw and into touch. And it keeps the pressure on his own team, keeps the pressure on Johnville. One goal to nil. Scored by John Morgan in the 31st minute of the second half. Massey Hargan with a lot of support there. I see Pat Duggan behind him, encouraging him on. John Ford floating a nice one across, but it just goes straight over. Nobody really there to meet it. Racing out to now is Derek Donaghy, the right back. Derek with the skipper. And the referee says that John Buck, Buddy Buck, went into him illegally, and it's a free to Johnville. Takes it quickly, back to the goalkeeper. O'Connor now will waste no time, but floated up to seeking his forward to get a score. Blocked down by Richard Daly, out again by John Morgan, back in again. Smith Sweeney gets it out. On the oh, lovely and header by Massey Hogan. Over the head by Murphy. Back again by. Morgan, Buck getting a little touch to it. Now comes to Ford. Ford swinging it out wide, trying to get the team moving. Over there is O'Driscoll. Then O'Driscoll loses time. Alan Sullivan trying to break his way through. Match it, Buddy Buck with the socks rolled down. And again, it's cleared out by Eamon Sheehan. But only into the waiting Eno O'Brien. Buck getting it and sending it out this time. And I think Milton are just quite happy to play it out. Massey Hargan trying to float it into space. Again, he gets a header to it. Now it's Mickey O'Regan trying to send it away for John Ford, racing back is Derek Dahoney, and Derek Dahoney winning it and sending it back to Chuck O'Connor. Chuck wasting no time, trying to get his team into attack. A goal down with about three and a half minutes to go. Paul McCarthy trying to get it through. In here this time, Dan Lowe Sullivan, lovely touch. Jason McSweeney going back in onto Richard Daly, and a chance, but back and clearing it away out to the far side was the skipper, John Buck. Jason McSweeney just got to it as Richard Daly came to it as well. Richard got the touch and went out. Eventually, John Buck getting it, but I think the umpire is signaling that Richard Daly had been offside anyway, so it wouldn't have counted. But Middleton really has to be very, very careful in these last. We're into the last three minutes. One goal up. Donald Desmond with it, sending it high up into attack, pushing the back there on Mickey Ring. Referee doesn't see it. It's Barry Lamb trusting with Mark Hazel. Whistle is gone this time. Referee sees it, and it's a free into Middleton. Well, Massey Harkin is going, to, yes, I thought you know Brian was going to take it, but Massey Harkin decides he'll take it. And with this strong wind, if he floats it, the referee says, come back a little bit, and so he leads it to Jason McSweeney. And all this is wasting just that valuable bit of time for Middleton. Jason, who was very, very strong and very dominant indeed in the year, and also showing some very good foot skills throughout this game. McCarthy now trying to get away for John Bell. John Mark in the score of the goal with it. Fighting very hard. This time, Paul McCarthy wins it. But back there is Cleary and Cleary clearing it off Middleton. No chance here. Can they get somebody at this one? Mickey O'Regan on for Massey Hogan. Massey wins, runs onto it very nicely indeed. Plenty space here now. He gets the cross in, it's going across. John Ford can't reach it. Mickey O'Regan racing out after it, and with him is Eddie Welch. No, every bit helps here. Can they get another goal? Can they see that? He takes a shot, but it goes out to the right and it goes wide. <laughs> Minute and a half, I make it to go. One goal in it, and Middleton still putting under pressure. Well, if Mickey Reed could have got that one, he would have sealed it up. Remember, he got the one last Sunday uh, in the draw down in Walford. Quickly taken by John Murphy. Matt Brown trying to get. Taken off him by Anto Cleary. Coming back here now is Mark Hazel. John Murphy, very, very near the end of the game now. John Murphy, can he get his team in? Can he get equaliser just before the end? I see many goals scored on the 19th minute and into injury time. And so Middleton still can't relax.